Next up, we're going to look at the difference between uh, general and specific Boolean conditions. So, two or more conditions overlap if they evaluate to be true simultaneously. So, in the previous video, we had an example where we we're looking at a student's marks. Okay, so if marks the integer variable is declared as an integer variable like this, okay, and we say that, um, and then we have a test condition, okay, th that we're asking is marks greater than or equal to 70? And there's another test condition where we ask are marks greater than or equal to 70? Now, these two, do they overlap? Well, yes, they do, especially if you take a look at an example like, well, if the integer value, um, the variable value was 80, 81, or 82, for instance. In those cases, they are both greater than or equal to 80, and they are also greater than or equal to 70. So, so it, what we see here is that there is some overlapping between, between those two test conditions or those two conditional statements. Um, what we also know is that marks greater than 80, so this test right here, has fewer satisfying values than marks greater than 70. So there will be more students that will have marks above 70 and above than there are students with marks that are 80 and above. This is just the way the math works out. So we say that marks greater than 80, so this right here, is more specific than marks greater than 70 because we have fewer candidates that for which this is true. There are more candidates for which this is true, okay? So we could also say that there is a broader number of uh, possible true conditions for marks greater than 70, and there are fewer possible cases for marks greater than 80. So we can also say that marks greater than 70 is more general than marks greater than 80. Next, let's take a look at this. So we have the, sort of a question where we would ask, are marks less than or equal to 65? And are marks less than or equal to 75? Do these overlap? Mm, probably, right? So if we were to take, for instance, values of um, 65, 64, and 63. Uh, let me see. So if we had 65, 64, and 63, um, let me see. 64 four would be true, 63 would be true for both this and this, and oh, because we have an equal right here, 65 would also be true in both cases. So marks less than 65 has fewer satisfying values than marks less than or equal to 75. So you will have more students falling under the, their marks are less than or equal to 75, then you will find students that have grades that are less than or equal to 65. So we can say that marks less than or equal to 65 is more specific than marks less than or equal to 75. Or conversely, we could say that marks less than 75, less than or equal to 75 is more general than marks less than or equal to 65. All right, next up. So we're going to continue with a, uh, an examination of general versus specific Boolean conditions. So let's say that we have two overlapping conditions. We have our x values uh, greater than or equal to 5 and our x values greater than or equal to 0. All right, they will overlap, right? So what values make both conditions true? So to have both of these conditions true, basically if you have any number that's 5, 6, 7 or greater, both of these questions or both of these conditions will be true. So which one is more general? Is this one more general or is that one more general? Well, x greater than or equal to zero is more general because more numbers will be true for x greater than or equal to zero than the numbers that are greater than or equal to five. So if we have a single if statement, then uh, and we set it up like this. So if we've got if so this is if and else if, right? So if x greater than or equal to 5, then print this out right here. Otherwise, so if it's not greater than or equal to 5, then we test to see if it's greater than or equal to 0. And if it's greater than or equal to 0, but less than 5, we will end up printing this out right here. Okay. Now it's different than if we did this. 
if x is greater than or equal to 0, then print out x is greater than or equal to 0. Great. So if we had a value 5, for instance, going into this, then the first line right here would print out for sure, because it is greater than or equal to 0. How, however, then we would have a problem, because then, right here, this if statement right here would never engage. Okay, We would never engage this, because as soon as that is executed, then this gets skipped over. All right. Whereas if we were over, uh, and then yeah, and the same same sort of thing over here. So if we said, uh, say we had a value of x is equal uh, is equal to six, then uh, we would have in this case uh, x greater than uh, si yeah we would have this would execute right here, but then we would skip over that right there. So say x is five. What output do we have for the first program? x is greater than five, greater than or equal to five. What's the output for the second program? x is greater than or equal to zero. We aren't being specific enough. So the cause for the not being specific enough problem of the second program is that we did not check the more specific condition before checking the more general condition. So this is an important thing to consider when you are developing your if-else statements. Which one comes first? Because which one has comes first actually has an effect on how your program will roll out.